What's up guys? I'm just a gamer and I'm back with another discussion video. Uh yeah. Dragon Age Dreadwolf. A lot of information has leaked of the game and I know it's been quite decisive and I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on it. And I have played all the Dragon Age games so far. I've played Dragon Age Origins, I played 2, and I played Inquisition. And I love one instant classic. I, even though I know it gets a lot of hate, I at least enjoyed two. Two had some things in there that I actually quite enjoyed. And then I know this is even more decisive than that than two, but I actually really, really, really liked Dragon Age Inquisition. Again, I know the horror story the development process of that game and the developers i'm so sorry that you guys had to go through that but i actually really liked dragon age inquisition and i was actually really expecting like most people to see dread wolf just build on top of that foundation refine it make it better tweak some things that didn't and fix some things that or enhance the things that did and so hearing that the game may now go to a more God of War style gameplay, is it a bit of a bummer? Yes. But for me, who I've enjoyed, I love God of War. It's not that too much of a deal breaker for me, for me personally. When I played Inquisition, I actually didn't use the strategic ability all that much. I actually did go more of the get in your face and action up style as you'll see in my gameplay here. Also I apologize for the very crappy resolution. I couldn't find, for whatever reason, this wasn't, this I couldn't capture in 1080p, I didn't capture it in 720, so I apologize for that. But my point is, if you'll notice, I basically didn't use the tactical camera at all um, at, in that situation. Now, that's not that being said, it's not that I never used it. I actually used it for a lot more of the harder fights. But when it came to just traveling, you know, around the world, exploring, I actually really didn't use it that much. I basically went more of the action route. I just, you know, placed my buttons, did my fight, and that was it. So. With Dragon Age Red Wolf basically hinting of going more that route, it's not that big of a leap for me. The thing that dra that drag you know that pulled me to Dragon Age, and I can say maybe other people as well, was the story. I really loved that setting, that world that they built up. Uh, I was actually never that I wasn't that big of a tactical gamer back in the day and that was like the because of that story though i wanted to experience that story that's what made me want to play that game and that's what made me enjoy the, that tactical uh gameplay and i know a lot of people are saying that if it's not tactical it's not dragon age but that's not really the case i mean if you look at two yes there were still some tactical aspects but it was really 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 reined back and that's what got a lot of hate from, you know, quite a few people. And then Dragon Age Inquisition, I thought, found a fantastic balance between the two. There was a good tactical variety, and then you could also go the straight-up action game route. And, again, that's one of the reasons why I actually really like Inquisition, which I know, again, is a hot take to a lot of people. And, but the thing that really drove me, that kept me wanting to revisit the series, was the story. And that's really what I'm really most concerned about when it comes to Dreadwolf, because besides this leak, we've already, like, there's there's basically a month or a week doesn't go by that we hear this person from the Dragon Age Dreadwolf team has left Bioware. This person has left. This person, you know, people are constantly leaving. And this game is not coming out anytime soon if you've seen the leaks and talked about it. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say that I understand people's frustration with it, but at the same time, it's not that big of a 
deal breaker for me because I was already kind of used to that aspect of the game, the third, uh, the action route, action game route with Inquisition. My whole thing is the story. I'm really, 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 really worried about the story with all these people leaving and everything like that. And I thought, you know, despite all three games so far being so very different from each other, they actually, you know, did a great job of keeping all the stories lined up perfectly together. Again, something I thought Inquisition did absolutely amazing. They brought stories from one and two and married them together in a good, great way. And I was hoping to see that continue in Dreadwolf, but you know, with all these tribulations going on in Bioware and the Dread and the Dragon Age team, um, you know, that's that's the thing I'm most worried about. And it's, it's funny too because for those of us who played all of Inquisition, even all the DLCs up to the final DLC, a lot of us already knew we were going to Devin to Tevinter in the next game. That was basically what that was set up at the end of all of Inquisition. And yeah, so it wasn't that big of a surprise when people like I don't why when it was announced that oh we're going to Tevinter, people lost their minds when it's like we kind of already knew that. But I'm 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 <laughs> I'm rambling about something completely different. Back to the main point about the leaks and about the type of game Dreadwolf is possibly turning out to be. Yes. Tacticalness of it, I'm hoping they can still bring some of that into Dreadwolf. Because again, like God of War, you can, it is possible to, you know, strategize with Atreus. You know, you use his, tell him to, when to do his ability when to do his summon attack and it's not all that inconceivable to see them you know expanding that making it to where you can tell your and you know they've already said that you can tell your uh allies when to attack what attacks to do but i can see them doing that a bit more uh nuanced and precise and i think that's the main thing if it's, as long as it's a precise system and it's not just you know, let them free and do your own thing. I think people will be happy. I just, it'll be rough. It'll be tough, but I think it's possible. But again, for people like me, who maybe in Inquisition didn't even utilize the tactical camera that much and just went the uh, action game route, this is not that big of a leap. And from what I read, I'm actually kind of excited for Dreadwolf. You know, seeing, talking about the Grey Wardens and all that. And I just, you know, again, it's the story. I want to know where this story is going. Because there's so many loose threads we still haven't wrapped up. Um, like Morrigan and the Grey Warden, you know, their child. What ha what's going to happen with that? Where, you know, what your Warden was doing. He was fighting the actual calling. Are we ever going to see and get a resolution to that? You know, those are the things I'm really excited about. Not so much the combat. I can, you know, the combat, yeah, but it's the story. That's what gets me. So, yeah, this, for me, wasn't that too big of a stretch, honestly. But, again, those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. I just want to get those quick little things out there. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you a Dragon Age fan? Did you like Inquisition? Did you like one? Did you not like them? Are you upset about the action route are you happy about it like please please i would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below i'd really i would really love to pick your guys' brain but yeah if you enjoyed this please leave a like uh subscribe i'm streaming on twitch so please consider following me there at twitch tv slash just the gamer inc all together one word or you can click the link below but yeah thanks for watching and until next time take care and have a good game